How long have the people been here down in the cellar? Uh, for three months. In the last three months, uh, when we uh, became here with the aggression here, uh, the city of Vukovar, and Borovo Nasadje, which is the part, uh, the west part of the city of the Vukovar, became the aggression here, where uh, the uh, people uh, came in the cellar uh, because there are uh, conditions for normal hospitality mm. are broken. Uh, because of the aggression of Yugoslavia, Dude. because the hospital was shooting uh, from the all sides with the hard guns and stuff like that. Do they have water here? They haven't got water here uh, from one month ago, how I know. Uh, where does the food come from? Uh, the food supplies is very bad, uh, very bad in the <laughs> last uh, month. How, month how, how many people here? Uh, in this moment, uh, in the last few days uh, here, it became 
came here about uh, the six or seven hundred civilians. Yeah. But here is about the, how I know the six hundred. Six hundred. Six hundred wounded people. Uh, the, Thank you. From the Russia. Hello.
Doctor, about how many people are here? Uh, about 450 uh, patients. All war injuries? Uh, yes. What kind of injuries? <coughs> All kinds. All kinds. Very <coughs> difficult. Some, some people is not so hard wounded and uh, some of them are really uh, uh, hard wounded and uh, lots of people are died. How many are dead? I don't know the real facts. Yeah, uh, About, uh, approximately? I, uh, I really don't know. But uh, I think it's a uh, lot of people. There are so many civilian people. How long have these people been living like this? Some of them are uh, here about 10 days. Mm -hmm. Do you have water in the hospital? Uh, we have a ter terrible problem with water. We have uh, three our drivers are uh, dead during the mm, bombing pumping and uh, bring uh, us uh, water. But now they're dead? Uh, yes, during the three or four months. There are three and dead people. And food? Where do you get your food? Uh, I, uh, I don't know the dairy fair, but uh, they, they, they found it on houses and uh, from uh, some uh, markets and I don't know. They just go out, to the, out into the yeah, streets? Yeah, and uh, they... Find what they can? Yeah, they find what they can and bring us here. Uh, bring uh, the food here. <laughs> Do, are you waiting for the International Red Cross to come and take these people out? Yeah. Yeah, there's terrible condition. You, you can see the condition we have here. How much longer can they last like this? I don't know. I really don't know. Okay,
Doctor, tell us about the baby. Uh, this baby is a six months old and uh, she is a bad woman. Very bad and she will be probably die. And, uh, is that the mother? Yeah, that's the mother and uh, uh, she uh, have another child. By her uh, side, yes. Yeah, on the side of the bed. But uh, she will be okay. stomach but in these conditions it is not possible to operate her. You see this is a shock room. So she'll probably die? No. Uh, we still have a hope for her if uh, she can reach Zagreb or some bigger center and be operated in normal conditions. This is not normal. <laughs> we heard that the we heard that the International Red Cross, the International Any news? And food? And food, we have a kitchen. Uh, it was uh, uh, very bad, uh, damaged uh, from in several times. Uh, so we translated it uh, in, uh, here, in the cellar. It is all improvisation. Now, you can see where we prepare food. How many people are dying a day because they're not looked after? <coughs> <laughs> How many here in the hospital? Yes. Uh, I think you can you can ask our director. They have all uh, statistics about uh, num and numbers. Uh, how many people uh, each day came in the uh, come in the hospital and how many were operated or ambulance only? And but can uh, can these can these people survive much longer in these conditions? I think they cannot. This is. I think this is the edge. <laughs> we are still alive. We are really trying. Uh, our surgeons did their best, best they can, but but conditions are really anomalous. You see, uh, this little girl, Dragan Ojma. Uh, she has a very, very uh, bad wound from the bomb. Uh, she was. Uh, uh, damage of the liver and the kidney and uh, our surgeons did uh, <laughs> really uh, big thing she's she, you, you see her she is okay now I think I think you can see this is this is after month and a half. Uh, she could go home now, but she has no home. Everything is in ruins. But what about these people? How, how will they survive? <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows. Our, our nurses, our surgeons, doctors, you see, they are doing really their best. Best that we can in these conditions. These here are newborns. These are mothers with, their, with children. You must have help soon. Very soon. Today. <laughs> today. Maybe tomorrow will be too late. Even today is too late, I think. No 
normal condition if you have, I don't know, you are a doctor or not? No. Our blood supplies are null, uh, and now it is it is not possible to transport blood or plasma or s such things from s from uh, out from Zagreb, from Osijek, from some other town. And uh, you were short of all these things. Uh, uh, one month ago, we were, we were we were short, and now what we are doing, uh, doctors, nurses. And uh, so uh, people who, who are working here are uh, giving their blood for the patients. This is the only s our reserve of, <laughs> of the blood. You're you know? giving your own blood? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, for example, for her, uh, she was only one kilo or below one kilo when she was born. And uh, she, she, she mu uh, if we want her to survive, she must have got uh, blood. And uh, there was no blood uh, in in hospital. And how can we? One our nurse, she has uh, the same uh, blood group as the baby, and she gave blood to her, so she she survived. And you but you know, uh, we are uh, our food is uh, very. We we have a very small uh, uh, protein. Yes, and we are eating uh, uh, potatoes. <laughs> And uh, so you can see what are our supplies of food. Very, very small. So if I give blood, I can give it maybe once in... I am, I'm in an India. You know? You can't carry on like this. You can't survive like this. You see yourself <laughs> if we can survive. We are surviving for three months now. But I think this is the end now. This is the end. You can, if, if for example, we, we now have a bad wounded person, where, where to put him? Where? It is, it is physically no, no place. You cannot, you can here maybe put another bed, but then you cannot pass here. And after that, if came another one, hmm. <laughs> for him, there is really no place. And no blood? No blood, no um, medic medicaments. So this we get from Germany, but it was three months ago when we got last uh, uh, help from Europe, from Zagreb, from, from somewhere. Now, now we are not giving medicaments that, for example, uh, that uh, will, would be the best for her disease, but the one that we have. <coughs> and and everything is is like that. You, know. you have done miracles here. I think, I think so. <laughs> really miracles. <laughs> if we had a good a big clinic, well supplied. <laughs> you can pray. We have no water now for, I think, also three months. You, you, you can, could imagine how you can uh, work hospital for three months uh, without water and without electricity. This is uh, for, from a little generator, you know. It is our local... Uh, it, it was... Uh, Five times uh, in one day, it is uh, some, some something wrong with it. So we get in in, in total uh, dark. And so. Doctor, thank you. Okay. 
Uh, we have now one pregnant woman who will uh, deliver a baby, I think, in a few, few hours. Yeah. Delivering here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, but uh, uh, this is a father, he was wounded, and the mother, uh, she delivered the baby here. Nine babies. And 12 babies uh, were born here in this cell. A ovo su prematuru si od kira, to ste rekli. Da, da. It is a big success. Ajde, da. Ajde, da. Ajde, da. What's her name? Sanella. Sanella? <laughs> All dust left in her head, in her hair. We have no water to wash it here. Let's try it, okay? <laughs> right. Whoever ends up finally governing this country could possibly turn this devil at... Who... Whoever it is who ends up governing this country could perhaps one day keep... Keep running. Whoever it is that ends up governing this country might well keep this town the way it is, just as it is today, totally demolished, totally devastated, as a monument perhaps to the lunacy of the Croatians' attempt to break away from the Federation of Yugoslavia, or a monument to the Serbian and the Federal Army's punitive vengeance, outraged at the very thought of it. Or whatever.